Hello, today we're going to talk about multi-level lists. We'll talk about regular lists, but those are pretty pretty straightforward, so we'll do a little more with it. So I've got a bunch of paragraphs here. They're not what you would think of as paragraphs, but they're paragraphs because I pressed enter at the end of them. I always have my non-printing characters displayed. You should too if you're trying to learn this stuff or you care about how your document ends up. Um, so I'm going to select the stuff that I want to make a bolded list out of. That's my title. I don't want to bullet that. Here's just your plain Jane bullets. Fine, right? If you haven't done that before, now you know how to do it. That's the most common format. Perhaps I wanted to make a numbered list. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. It's completely contextual. Under the bullets, notice there's always the drop down. You've got these guys here. These are, I don't know where they arrived with these, but these are pretty safe choices if you're trying to put together a resume or something which isn't going to offend the eye too much. Those are good choices. I don't really want to get into this now, but you can do whatever you want, right? So to find new bullet, symbols are good. If I wanted to do pictures, which I probably shouldn't. Then I could type uh, something like that. And that looks good. And so notice whatever kind of bullets I want to use or what I can use. Um, let's say I decide that's a bad idea, because it was, um, and let's talk about multi-level lists, because a multi-level list is a little bit more appropriate here. So pretty cryptic in its current form. They got these kind of mixes, so here's numbers, here's numbers and letters. Let me also go back to numbers for a second. Notice I saw one, two, three. Notice we've got dots, we've got parentheses, lowercase, uppercase, Roman numerals. You got a lot of options. Um, under multi-level list, show you what I'm going to do with this. Let's just do this one. All right, so notice that's just a numbered list. But uh, kind of what I'm doing here is this is the book title, and this right here is the author. It would make sense to have that be like a sub list. In other words, I would like to increase its level by one. So this button right here is increase. This is decrease. If I increase, Notice the entire list gets adjusted and now it is underneath it. You can also achieve the same effect by tabbing it in, right? I can't really make a good case for doing either. Probably tabbing is better, maybe. So you can either press tab or you can press this. This is the more visual one that you can see me doing. And so now just, notice that now this list is maybe looking a little better. It's a little weird because this is A, 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 right? But it's probably more the point that... Uh, I don't know why I'd make a bullet list out of this in the first place, but, but these are sub lists. And if there was other stuff, like, I have no idea what year this was bit written, right, this starts to make a little bit more sense. So I'm kind of just working with the default multi-level list. You've got some other options in here. If you want to see how they look, just try clicking on them. Your hands are not really tied here. You are welcome to do whatever you would want to do with these bullets. However, in practice, I probably would caution against getting too creative. So if you really wanted to get carried away with this, you'd probably go into define new multi-level list. And then you've got some things. And so notice it's set up by like uh, level. So notice it's set up by level. So I'm saying, hey, my level one bullet here is a number. Right? And so you can put whatever you want in there. Now it's level one is going to be Roman numerals. Level two, let's say I want that to be a uh, uh, a bullet, right? Maybe that's actually more suitable because A doesn't work so great. And I click OK, and I could spend 20 minutes going through here creating some some pretty elaborate uh, list style. That's kind of related to styles more than just bullets themselves. But now you've seen how to create a multi-level list, and you can actually see. In the process, I actually made this a little more logical. Oh, those things look kind of weird. I forget. Some people kind of wonder what those arrows are for. They're nothing. They just indicate a tab. And maybe this is good. So uh, now you know about multi-level lists. Feel free to experiment as you want. Thanks for watching.